and welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Swoosh, and I'm here today reviewing the SPY. Called the market long in both the Qs and the SPYs today. Gapped up and very aggressive, but worked in a one minute high, and the market is holding the low of the day. And for all intents and purposes, looks like it could possibly break out over the high. Could be today, could be tomorrow. We're so, so close. 248.91 is the previous high. Got up this morning to 248.79. And I just want to go back, and I talked about this a little bit today in the room, but we had really talked about it actually a couple weeks ago before the Labor Day holiday, how the market is strong, okay? And this looked bearish to many, 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 many people. Made a big topping tail here. Gap down, fell hard of the day. Rally, couldn't get over the high. Made a lower high. Made a lower low. Came down in here, pivoted. Gap down here, fell red hard. But all along the way, the market has proven to shake off every piece of negative news and that it is very, very strong. This gap down here on this day that failed to go lower and rallied and actually got bought. We actually got bought. This gap down here actually got bought and then it had the follow through was just a show of strength for the market. Okay. A very, very, very strong sign that the market was going to make another new high. Of course, you don't know when until it does it. Last week was the volume with the Labor Day holiday. This morning, though, when the market gapped up, I mean, it showed its hand once again. And this is just happening. It's just doing it. It's just the market's just getting bought. You can't. You wouldn't be going higher like this continually over and over and over and over and over again without buying. This is buying. And there are people that are short this market here from the look of the stuff that's happened a month ago. And they're going to have to cover in here if they haven't covered already when we get over the high. So the market did not even pull in here. I had discussed that previously, too. Even if we had, we would have still been holding the uptrend. We didn't have to. We didn't. We're not going to. We're going to make a new high, it looks like, very soon. So it could even happen today, although we've hit through already the first target today. The second target's in sight, which is 249. And then the dream target for the market is 250 in the SPY. Very bullish. Very bullish and no sign of letting up. So here we are in September. People talk about this being a month for selling. Haven't seen it yet, September 11. Uh, 16 years ago today was, uh, gosh, where were you 16 years ago today? Can you remember? I remember where I was 16 years ago today. Uh, so it's just, uh, wow, time just keeps going by, doesn't it, people? And here we are, it's 2017. So remembering those today, people, 9-11, market higher, continuing to show its strength, and we will see what we get. We're going to ease into this fall earnings season, ease into the week. The market is a busy, busy beaver here today with buying action, and we'll see what we get into the end of this first half period, really, of, of the fall. September 15th is Friday. So we'll see what we get. Oracle is Friday, though. I know. It's th th Thursday night. Oracle's Thursday night, so I'll be watching that one. I just don't know if it's going to gap up or gap down. So have a great week, everyone, and I will talk to you all soon. If you're interested in the Golden Gap class this weekend, email me at melissa at thestockswitch.com. Have a great day, everyone.